welcome back to Andre Sare, where today we're jumping into Viking Season 5, Episode 16. We have like four more episodes to go, guys, and we are done with Season 5 and going on to our last seasons of Vikings. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Um, I've been reading your guys' comments down below. Thank you so much for commenting down below and telling me your opinions, your thoughts, and what knowledge you know without spoiling about Vikings. So each episode, I'm learning just a little bit more um, from you guys compared to what just I watch. Sometimes when I watch, it's really raw and I'm always confused. So as you guys know, if you've been seeing my reactions, I've been having little issues with Ivar. Not little, but huge. So, um... There are some, <laughs> shout out to the people that love Ivar, but have not commented recently when I've been saying that I don't like him anymore. <laughs> I hope you guys are still here. You didn't unsubscribe. How you doing? <laughs> but yes, so I'm not a fan of Ivar. I think what Ivar has done um, has been dreadful. And if you have been watching Vikings from the beginning, you fell in love with certain characters. My characters I fell in love with was Lagatha, Ragnar, and I always loved the seer. Loved the seer. And I loved Floki. Um, but Floki right now is on a beach somewhere in uh, the Bahamas, living his best life, seeing shit. And Ragnar's dead. Lagatha's MIA. And now the seer is dead thanks to Ivar. Ivar was, when he first came in, one of my favorite characters. He was a breath of fresh air. He was a very complex character. And I understood why he was so angry. Now, let me just let you guys know because, you know, I'm not going to stay on this topic long because I don't want people to come for me, honey. Because I never stand for them. Um, <laughs> no shade, no tea. But, um, yeah, Ivar, I understood him. And honestly, to tell you the truth, coming, f I look at, I've looked at Ivar coming from my own experience. I'm a middle child, okay? And I always felt like, for me, that I always got the shit end of a sh the stick. Excuse my language today. This reaction is really raw and graphic. So, um, I always had an issue, like, growing up, especially with my brothers and sisters. So, I always just felt, like, torn. So, I understood Ivar. I understood him completely. I just don't understand why he's turned all the way to the dark side. Now, I understand that his wife is possibly pulling the strings. Right now, I still don't have an issue with her. I do know that the this, this show is hinting that she is a little dark, that she is possibly the reason why everything is happening. Not possibly, she is. Um, so with that whole aspect, I'm trying to take that out and be like, okay, well maybe Ivar. But as soon as he killed the seer, like I said in my last reaction, I don't really see much changing about my opinion of him. Um, and in the last episode, I think he's gonna kill his brother if you want me to be really honest. I think he's gonna kill his brother and I'm gonna be completely upset, although I don't even care about that brother. Then we have Mr. B living his life over there. Lagatha's missing, the battle happened, Bishop Hangman is dead. Um, that character was like an on and off character for me. Like I felt like he was just always extra, always praying. I understand he's a bishop, but child, now you're dead, so bye. Um, and uh, what else? <clears throat> so we have that, uh, uh, King Alfred, somebody commented down below, I cannot remember who it was, but somebody commented said they loved seeing Alfred growing up, and I have to agree with you. I actually am loving seeing Alfred growing up from where he was with the old king um, and all the way where he is now. I love his new haircut. I love that stupid little mustache thing he has. But now I'm torn because he knows about his damn brother. So is he going to kill his brother because his brother tried to kill him? I hope he does it, but I feel like the mother is a little... And I think she's going to push for it to be done. I don't know, because she also loves her children. Child, I don't know. But King Alfred knows what time it is. So, guys, I'm ready to jump into this episode. I kind of gave you just a talk, 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 talk about how I feel. I'm ready to see what's going to happen. I'm hoping that we're going to get some Floki. We're going to get some... Uh, take back. If we're not going to get a storyline with Floki, leave him where he is. And we'll get back to him later. Um, but I'm hoping that, you know, we'll get maybe Lagatha. You know, maybe she's in, like, the, the trees, talking to the trees. Maybe she's Pocahontas. Maybe she's just around the river bend. Um, and I'm hoping that we get, you know, King Alfred and uh, King Harold escape barely with his life. So let's try to kill him off. So with that being said, guys, let's jump into this reaction of, of Vikings. Let's find out exactly what the sons of Ragnar Lodbrok has got 
to give. Bishop Hammond. We already saw him dead though. Oh, Lagatha. Oh, she's upset. So where does she go? I don't want to see her. Wow. If she's still alive, she has vanished. She has. If with your help we defeated our enemies, that I would honor the pledges made to you by my grandfather. So what's happening? Giving you by our royal consent all the lands that constitute the ancient kingdom of East Anglia. Oh. These lands I grant you in perpetuity to settle and to farm as you see fit. Oh. Last time this happened. Yes. All I can say is that this time will be different. Right. And I will use my authority as king to protect your rights. Go ahead, King Alfred. Screw these people who want to kill you. I feel like he's going to die a horrible death. <laughs> as allies and as friends. Wow. That is not the end of our business today. Uh-oh. Guards, arrest the traitors. Ah. Uh, he's not going to do anything to his brother. I do not his brother, which I think is a smart idea. I hope. King Harold, you return defeated. Yarrow son died well in battle. Uh, you must believe in your leaders. You must give them a chance to prove just why they rose in the first place. Uh-oh. I don't believe in giving second chances. You're gonna die, sir. And failures. Does he know who he's talking to? Oh, go ahead, King Harold. <laughs> You live, and you learn. Uh, you're gonna die. Oh, oh that's you talking shit. <laughs> Magnus, son of Ragnar Lothbrok. Ah. Uh. City of York will be a great city. Ah. Uh. To Ragnar. From Scotland to the steps of Ross! Where is Ross? <laughs> oh god, is he gonna sleep with this girl too? She's annoying. You killed Heckman. He was already badly wounded. I just finished him off. Oops! I was at York with my husband, Yalo Lovson. He's dead. Where's your husband now? He was killed in the battle. He was a good husband. She don't care. Who are you? Beyond Ironsad. You're famous. Um... I would like to know you better. Oh my god, really? I will cut your ropes if you answer me a question. What is this annoying question? After Heckman died, my mother was wounded and she vanished. To know if you were witness to anything that could give me answers. Okay. I saw nothing. <clears throat> uh. You're a free woman. You can do anything you like. Okay. Whoa! Good job, girl. What was that for? <laughs> I was just exercising my freedom. <laughs> you can be now. Yes, bitch! <laughs> oh, I like her! Did I say I like her? How do people just disappear? Your mother's a witch. She doesn't just run away. And in the middle of a battle. You know her? No, you don't. You know nothing. Oh. As far as you're concerned, you'd rather she be dead. Oh. And I trusted her. And she loved and trusted me. She did. Wouldn't have just disappeared, not unless there was a reason. Perhaps she had come to the end of reason. Oh. You have I've already decided to forgive him. See, I knew it. He has to talk about it. Right. But if you won't talk to him, please give me your permission to do so. <laughs> so perhaps I can forgive him. Oh. Uh, the mother's gonna kill the son, and I don't know why. Death to the king! Oh! That outfit that he was just giving, the hoodie, perfect. He said, I don't like him. I don't like any of them. None. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is that? Food. <laughs> Ew! Floki. Wait here. They scream at Floki. Aggie. Who's that? Who's Aggie? Is that the son who lost his... You will lose at least one of your fingers. I had no choice. What do you mean, Helgi? 
Who is dying? Ah. Uh, and after we left here, my father fell ill. Really? There's so little food and everyone is sick. Ah. Uh, and we've already had to bury two of the... Two or three of the young ones. Oh. Go and save my family. I know we don't deserve to be saved with the eyes of Loki. You gotta cut off your fingers. Thor's hammer. For strength. You know why. If I knew, then I would not ask. Be careful, your mom's crazy. Lord Cunahud confessed everything. Right. I was still angry that I had been forced, so it seemed, to renounce the crown that I thought was mine by right. Oh. But that if I agreed to replace him, the coup would be bloodless. Right. They wanted me to give the signal. I refused. Uh. Regret ever having listened to them. I was foolish and too proud. Uh. I will never, ever betray him again. She's crazy, but such a good character. Hi, you're gonna die because you won't leave this effing place. <laughs> is that an Asian guy? Is this a god? Buddha. No god. That is the Buddha. That's not even a title. Show. <laughs> Sir, he wants to know. I have. Just received some very interesting news. Um, what? King Harold was defeated in Wessex by the new King Alfred. Hmm. Of Lagatha, Bjorn Nanupa. Then you knew all along that you didn't sacrifice Lagatha. Did Harold survive the battle? Yes, he retreated to York. Uh. It seems to me that now it is time for us to return to England. Oh. Uh. Play chess with Prince Alfred. Oh. And now I would like to play chess with him again. On the battlefield. Whoop. I haven't done communion in like forever. I think Uber is kind of cute too. Not the point of the show. Here is the boundary of your legal possession. Beyond this point and right to the sea is the kingdom of East Anglia. Ah. Look, Bjorn. Look at this treasure. Oh, she's gonna cry. <laughs> it's the music. This is like the best music. And he reminds me of Ragnar. <laughs> I don't know. Beat every principle, every dream, every hope of our settlement. Well, who told you to come back? I was thinking that at last our settlement was beginning to work. Uh. These people that started the chain. Loki, I understand. Mm. My father has learned a lesson. He is filled with remorse. Did you say he's dead? We would live differently. That we would change. Um, I like that character kind of a little bit. Welcome, sire. Mm. Mm. I cannot go inside. No, nor I. They worship a false god. <laughs> I've lost my father, and now my mother. Yeah. Yet here's my father's dream. Everything he ever wanted for us. How strange. Are these two gonna hook up? Everything will be alright. Everything. Of course. By the way, whatever happened to Mr. B's baby mother? And his baby? I don't remember. The baby died, right? It's the king. What happened to him? This is not the first time Alfred has been struck down like this. It's happened before. Oh. There is very little we can do. I wish there were. That's right. This did happen. She's with child. Are you? Yes. I think I'm with child. And now I'm saying with child. <laughs> so much depends upon this unborn child. Perhaps the future of England. Uh. He has to live. Nothing else matters. Uh. Life is a bridge. Build no house upon it. It's a river, but don't cling to its banks. He's kind of cute too. I don't know. <laughs> what does it mean? A journey to where? Maybe I can go talk to him again. But he would enlighten me. Huh. They just gotta bring it around? I've invited Olaf to join our army. Oh. Huh. We should wait until the spring after the birth of my divine child. Oh god. This is poisons your mind, brother. Eventually you can't see the good in anyone or anything. Uh. It is now looks more like Freya. God is of fertility. Uh. <laughs> 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 
you jumped ship to be with me because you thought the gods planned it. Mm. It do makes you unhappy as if you never meant to jump ship at all. You're crazy. There's no contradiction because it's possible that everything is part of the one. The one? I've often wondered whether you weren't a little crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> what happened to her? The actor who plays Ivar is really good though. Should have made an offering to the gods to appease their anger. What anger? Now Uba and Torvi wear the cross of the Christian god around their necks. Oh lord. I have to do something for myself. What are you gonna do? I don't belong here. Do what? I want to take out the get back from Ivar. What? After their attack on Wessex, they would both return and attack Kataka together. They did. Listen to me. That or he will just kill you. He could try. We're being asked to save these people. I'm going to leave the decision to you, Shet. You guys said that was Edge. It kind of doesn't look like him anymore. <laughs> if Elki says his father has changed, then I believe him. Mm. If necessary, I will carry Avon home on my own back. He's a good guy. Ah. Oops! Fucking this cat broken. <laughs> he clearly wasn't strong enough to go, guys. That's crazy. For the sake of my mother and for my own sake. I need to try to regain Kattegat. Go ahead. We are all trying to defend Ragnar's dream. But perhaps some of us choose to do it differently. Ooh. My brother. Still my hero. Oh. You have protected and brought up our children. You were never spiteful or vengeful. You were always loyal to my mother. Yes. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> I know that she's still alive and will return someday. She's a survivor. Thank you. This is so sad. And I will always make them proud of you. Blessed be the queen. I was so emotional. Thank you. That was such a touching scene. To reassure you that Alfred will recover. Will recover. My mother is right. A king who is always sick. What kind of a king is that? Kill him. Ethelred is very popular. I had somehow hoped he would not be quite so popular. Uh. What is it that you say to these men? Oh. Now go and pick some stinking porridge to heal my poor brother. Who in the f? <laughs> Good old Tio Miss Riding Hood. <laughs> this is what porridge looks like. What's going on here? If he died, would you be king? Yes. Then I hope he dies. Um, it's time to kill both of them. She's crazy. Oh, he went there very quickly. I guess York is close. Brother! Did he just jump up in the air and hug him? How happy I am to see you. Hmm. Seems the fates has, after all, brought us back together again. Guy, he he just like he smokes cigarettes and drinks Red Bull. Care that I found my brother Bjorn, but I am Viking, and then we shall attack Kat again. Okay, Magnus, sit down, please. You're talking too much. I made some potions to try to relieve his suffering, as I did before. Uh... At least I know you care about your brother. Why wouldn't I? What is she eating? They're not real Christians. She poisoned his food, because they keep focusing on them eating. It's true. And yet, you must understand their fear. Mm. But for Wessex and England... Oops! Oh. <laughs> they can see that Alfred is their best chance. Oh. That they must care about Alfred. Oh my what god! Done? Killed you, bitch! <laughs> That you have ever accepted your brother as king. He looks like um, Game of Thrones. You could always be a danger to him. <laughs> yeah, bitch, you about to die. What kind of mother are you? <laughs> oh my god, you see how he fell on the table? He's gonna try to kill Mr. B, and he's gonna die. 
and he wants that girl. Oh God. He's always hated Ragnar and his kids. Wow, King Ithrothlukluk is dead. I think she really did love him, but she loved Alfred more. I feel like he wouldn't have killed him. Well, well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I've just got like a burst of energy. That episode was king and saved. The ending was crazy. I can't believe um, Werewolf's son died. Now I'm gonna tell you, I'm kind of torn between if he was actually ever gonna kill his brother or was he just going to be this threat. Now his wife, who thought she is the sh she now doesn't have a husband, so she can get the f out of this house. She has, she has a, a, a what do they call it? A not what, what happens when you don't pay your rent? An eviction notice. That's what she got. Oops. Bye, girl. Um. So King Alfred. Hopefully, he gets better. I don't know what's happening to him. I know there's a King Alfred in real life. Well, there was, and he obviously died because we're in 2021. But um, I want to know how. Also, guys, one second. I have to show you this. I bought this game. Can you guys see it? I didn't even open it yet. I'm super, super excited. It's the Assassin's Creed, and if you can see, it says Bahala. Um, I'm super, super excited. Let me tell you what Vikings has done to me. I didn't. I haven't played it yet. I waited for my PS5 to get here, honey, and then I'm gonna be playing that. I'll tell you guys how I how I feel. I'm gonna make my character Ragnar Lothbrok. Um, I'm like obsessed with the show. You guys thought I was joking. No, bitch. I'm real serious. Um, overall though, this show brought back the feels of how I felt back in all the other, uh, seasons. Honey, this is like, it's slowly starting to change, well, six, 15 was good too, but six, this episode was good. Mr. B definitely belongs in Catacut. I believe that, um, King Harold's gonna die by Mr. B's knife. He's gonna kill him because King Harold wants to be the king. He wants to be above everybody else. Sorry, King Harold, we don't know you. Other than you drink Red Bulls and you smoke those Marlboro cigarettes. Um, I'm filtered. But yes, so we got that going on. King Ivar did not bother me this episode. I actually thought he was kind of funny. And I did see his relationship with his brother kind of change where he was showing a like more love, I guess, for him. There wasn't the tension that was there. So overall, I really did enjoy this episode. I even enjoyed the storyline with Floki. Oops! Is there a different writer in the second half of the season? Cause honey, this episode is so much different than the rest of the season. And I'm being really honest. This episode is like old school Vikings, what I loved. The other episodes, the, uh, the, the other half of the season was like pulling short. Like when you guys said it was dark, I was like, ooh, I like dark stuff. I love Batman. But the, the first, half of this of this season was almost it was miserable for me <laughs> I enjoyed it but it was really hard to watch um but this episode like I said if it continues doing stuff like this where we're still getting a storyline we're still getting drama we're still getting a plot we're still getting like oh, what can happen oh my god people are dying kill them I, we get all of that but just not like what we were getting before oh god um I'm here for it so I'm done going back and forth and being dramatic. I gotta film something else. So with that being said, guys, if you see this reaction, you realize you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Also, please like and share this content because it does all wonders for this channel. And I will see you all next time on Andres El Rey. Bye.